Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at the November nerfs. They're pretty all straightforward and I believe they're pretty reasonable. We're going to talk about the decisions and why I think they were changed and obviously why Side Games had decided to change these cards. So as you can see on screen, the first change was Karabos from a 6-6 to a 5-5 in stats. I don't think it makes a major change at all, honestly. That pretty much can be played exactly the same way. It is a pity that they've now removed the 666 of the card, which was kind of like, you know, a joke. And now it's 655, which doesn't have the same same ring to it. Uh, next up, Staircase to Paradise. Changed from a 1 to a 2, and Countdown was dropped from 7 to 6. This change is a little more impactful. It basically kills Atomy as a deck, so... That's not going to be anywhere near as good because you're now contesting almost all your two drops with an amulet that just doesn't have the same presence as it did as a turn one play, which was much more important. Also, the consistency is going to go down because you don't have as many one drops that are going to fit that same slot. And if you try and remove a two drop for this card, that's really going to suck. But if you're running this in Dragon, Ginger, something like that, this is still about the same. You just can't really throw it into any deck as a one drop if you had, don't have a good one drop. But I think this change was necessary. Most decks were taking advantage of Staircase, especially at the start of this month, where we saw a shift after the last lot of nerfs, to where Staircase was just being thrown in as more draw power and not using really any other major draw power cards. So, nice to see this slight change. We've also got three other cards, so I'm gonna... well, sorry. I'm going to leave D-Shift there for a sec, and we'll look at that and talk about that a little more in detail. Next we'll go to Sybil. So, Sybil was changed from a 4-5 in stats to 3-4, just the same kind of lowing as Carabas, but this is a lot bigger than Carabas, just because Sybil's body was what most people, I would say, had a problem with, along with its healing, but you can't really change that too much. So, Sybil, because it ramps on 5, which is consistent as hell, and you can pretty much play it every time on turn 5, with a stat line of 4-5, with its evolve being a 6-7, you could clear pretty much anything for turn 5. No issues at all. You would heal back up, Sybil would remain on board, you would be ramping. There was just no real downside. Now, with its body being a little smaller, it's more manageable. A lot of the 1-2-4 drop cards can easily remove it. So you're not wasting a lot of materials on that single card, which is quite a lot better, I think. It's not been toned down so much that it's now useless, but it's been toned down enough that Dragon will probably still run it as a 3 of, at the very least a 2 of, and it will still get a lot of value. Then the last card on this image here, before we talk about D-Shift, is Little Soul Squasher. It was, had its defense changed from 2 to 1. Not a huge change, but big enough that Aggro decks can now steamroll Little Soul Squasher with, say, Ambling Wraith or just any single to single damage spell, which is a little bit easier than trying to find two damage, especially against a two drop in the early game. So if you are playing this on two, you're not going to get much advantage out of it. Obviously, most people are really not going to be doing that in reality. Soul Squasher is still going to be good for removing Evolve followers, especially around turn four which is when you see most Evo turns happen initially, and in the late game, it's still going to have about the same value as it did before. So really, you're just not going to see this card as much in an aggro-style deck, and it's going to be a minimum of a 2-of in mid-range still, maybe even left a 3-of, depending on if other 2-drops are just outclass it. But I just kind of got to wait and see whether that little Soul Squasher stays as good as it has been. I think it will. That's my opinion, and looking at it, that change doesn't make a huge difference to most of your matchups. Now, probably the biggest biggest change that the community wanted, I would say, was Dimensional Shift. They, from everything I saw, D-Shift, they just wanted to absolutely destroy it. The community was shocking, and it's kind of depressing, because D-Shift has a place as it was. At 18, it was good. It was probably too good, which did limit control, and that's why I'm happy with this change. Raising it to 20 pretty much means you're going to have maybe one turn, maybe two at the most, before D-Shift becomes playable again, which allows a lot of decks a lot of room to win. There has been so many games where I've been playing a deck, whether it was aggro, mid-range, or control, where I could have killed D-Shift if only I had that one more turn. And I'm sure that will still happen, like... I'm sure people will get D-Shift out, it'll happen. 
but considering that rotation will be very soon, we've only got another month before rotation set, and D shift will be removed ro in rotation, I do plan on having a video for rotation out reasonably soon. It's going to have a fair bit of work put into it, so I've got to really go over everything, but hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Um, not much else to say about D shift overall, I guess. A lot of people will say it wasn't hit hard enough and that this doesn't really make a big change, but one to two turns can make a huge difference when you're playing against D shift. I'm sure we'll see a lot of things like Daria maybe coming in more instead of D shift. Earthrune at the moment is just running rampant. That was going to be an obvious thing. Nothing was hit. It was already pretty much a tier one deck. It was contesting everything else that was out there. The only thing that I can see really coming in and just annihilating Dirt Rune is possibly Dragon, but even then the matchups in my case were always pretty close. So we'll just have to wait and see whether uh, Earthrune can be steamrolled by other decks yet or not. But overall, I'm really happy with these nerfs, just the way they were handled. Nothing was too overdone, but enough was done that the meta is going to shift a little bit, which is really nice to see. Especially since, like I said, we only have a month until rotation, which is going to be huge. We're going to lose a lot of staple cards, like, I mean a lot. Looking through that list, it's going to be crazy the amount of cards we lose, and for perfectly good reason which I'll go into detail in another video, so keep an eye out for that. If you want to see my normal deck videos, of course, they're still going up daily, and I'm trying to come up with some more at the moment, but there won't be too much change with the meta, so I'll probably just be looking for fun decks, maybe even getting some, you know, PDP and last decks kind of in before rotation, and maybe even take a look at some things that might come after rotation. Obviously, we don't know what set's coming out, and we have got a new class coming, which will obviously shake up a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment so I know, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.